Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a 1.18 Bedrock Minecraft server. Alright, so as you can see, we are currently on Vanilla Minecraft 1.18.1.jar. However, this is the Java version. So, we need to go to the Jar and pre-install menu, click Bedrock, and then you can click Vanilla 1.18. Once you've selected it, you then want to click save in the bottom right. Just so you know, plugins will not work with this, neither will mods, as this is just vanilla Minecraft. So it is the base game, so plugins and mods will not work. And as you can see now, it is selected vanilla bedrock. So then we're going to go ahead and restart our server. Alright, so I've now restarted the server, and I'm going to go ahead and open bedrock. Alright, so as you can see, we're not about Minecraft. We then want to click play and go to servers. My server is already here at the bottom, but if you don't know how to do that, you can click add server. It will then ask for a server name, which you can put anything. I'm just going to, you know, spam my keyboard. Then for the server address, you want to go back to Pebble Host. And as you can see on the IP, there are some numbers here. Now for the address, you want to copy everything before the colon. So at the end, there should be five numbers and a colon. You want to copy everything before the colon, Go back over to Minecraft and put it in the server address. And then for the port, we can go back to Bubble Host. And the port is this five numbers here. So there we go. Don't include the colon. Make sure you don't do that. And then you can just get rid of this. And there we go. So now we've got our server. We can click save. And as you see, I've already added the server before. So as you can see right here, we can go ahead and join the server. And there we go. We have now loaded in to the Minecraft server. Anyway, that is it. It's really, really easy to set up a Bedrock server with Pebblehost. Literally, all you have to do is go to the jar menu, select the jar, and restart your server. That's literally it. Anyway, if this video did help out, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. Anyway, hopefully, I'll see you next time.